Hey, Mr. Garage here. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Sterling engines. And I'm really excited to show you guys this. Um, what a Sterling engine is, it's a little, it's an engine that converts heat into kinetic energy. So you get basically heat and it turns it into a working force. Um, the one I'm going to be showing you guys is a little tiny desktop model. These things are getting really popular over the years for, for geeks like me and, and like you that are watching this. They've been becoming really popular because you can have this little piston driven engine on your desktop running and, you know, kind of playing with it like a little model toy. And they're safe. They run off, say, just like rubbing alcohol. Um, there's no soot or anything involved. You just kind of turn them on, light a little fire, and they run. There's all kinds of different um, variations of them. There's single cylinder. There's um, dual cylinder. There's V4 versions. There's radial engine versions of these little these little Sterling engines. And they've really come a long ways. I mean, the first ones were kind of ugly. They they were an okay desktop piece, but now they're like the CNC work is getting really really good. And they're really inexpensive. And again, this is the nicest one by far that I have found for the cash. Um, I've, I've got a link for it in the video description. So in case you want to order one up and check it out, they are just too cool. So um, anyways, let's get to checking this little engine out. All right. So this, my friends, is that little Sterling engine I was telling you guys about. This is all aluminum. There's no plastic pieces. Um, anodized and beautifully CNC'd. I don't have one of those cool turning things that some YouTubers have, so we're just kind of checking this out. But this is the engine. So you've got uh, a, a CNC aluminum little um, reservoir for your alcohol and a little wick that you can put in it. It comes with spare parts, an extra wick. It's got an extra little cylinder tube here. You can kind of see as this turns, you can see that piston moving in and out. Now on this, there's actually an air channel. This is going to be the hot side. And then there's a little air channel that goes into the cold side piston. So there's actually two pistons on this model. And then it also comes with um, some LEDs. There's a multicolor kind of strobing flashing LED that I soldered on. And it comes with a solid red LED. Because this one through a belt actually powers this small generator. Which produces just enough power to run an LED. Um, very, very cool little setup. Now, um, when you get this, how you set them up is you run the wick up inside. Just like I have here. And it comes with a pipette too. So we got this little pipette. I'm going to be using 99% um, alcohol, a hydrous alcohol. And uh, we're just going to draw it into our little pipette. We're going to fill this little container up. And while I'm filling it, I'll talk about two kind of maintenance on this. Um, when I got it, it ran perfectly fine. No issues at all. Uh, I, of course, wanted to better it in some way a little bit. So I added a little bit of extra lubricant to um, these crankshafts. And because these just kind of free float on there. And I also added lubricant right here. You can barely see it, but there's a pin and there's kind of a dog bone there or a little uh, joint there. And that lubricant, tiny bit of lubricant, got inside this brass slide bushing. Now these little engines are so precision that any drag from lubricant like up inside there slowed the engine down to the point it wouldn't even light the LED. So I had to completely disassemble this thing and um, clean everything out with Dawn dish detergent and then simple green and rinse it really well so it was completely dry. And then I had to use powdered graphite on everything to kind of lube it. I also got a tiny bit of lubricant in this side, in the cold side piston. And that thing glides so effortlessly inside its sleeve. And when I got that tiny bit of lubricant in there, again, it slowed it way, way, way down. So you got to be really careful. And I recommend buying some powdered graphite if you're going to work on one of these um, little engines. So that, that's kind of the best for the lubricant. Now, back here in the crankshaft, if you use a really low weight, like a zero weight oil, that's fine too. But the stuff I used was just a little bit too thick, a silicone oil, silicone oil that I had. All right. So we got our little container filled with alcohol. We're going to go ahead and put this wick down in it and it's going to start drawing it up and kind of wicking it up into it. Now it takes a minute because when you light this guy up, this little glass envelope has got to get hot. It's got to get some warmth to it before the engine actually starts functioning. So we'll go ahead and light this guy. There we go. You can see our flames. Let's turn this. All right, get some heat in that thing. 
So these are the coolest little desktop engines. They're just absolutely beautiful. I did find online, um, this one's like, it, it's around 60 bucks or so, or $70. And I found a twin cylinder version from this same manufacturer. It's got this whole setup in a twin cylinder format in the red and the silver, and it looks really nice. So um, I may order that one in too, but looks like we probably got enough heat now to start this thing. And we're just gonna kind of kickstart it. And that's it, it fires right up. And the hotter it gets, kind of the higher RPM that you get out of the engine. And we've got our little LED blinking, just like I talked about before. So it's just kind of flashing, doing its thing. But again, the more heat you get, the faster it goes. Now, there's some guys online, and I may do this to this uh, engine one of these days, but there's guys online that put map gas torches and other torture devices on this to really make it go fast. But I haven't really had a need. I think it's really cool just as it is. I don't really want to destroy it yet, but I think I might have fun with it later on. But you can add heat to it, like I'm just using this. And you can actually get the RPM to increase on it, and you can hear it rev up. And um, so other fuels and things just to add heat uh, will make it go a little bit faster. But yeah, overall, very cool device. And like I said, this little Sterling engine, you can kind of see it running. This is just such a cool little thing for all you geeks and freaks out there to have on your desktop because any car guy, any guy that likes this kind of thing would love to have one of these. Um, the only thing I changed to note on this particular engine, let me blow this out and I'll show you. Take this out, we'll stop the engine. The only thing that I did differently is it came with these really, really soft, almost felt like feet. On it and this and with those felt like feet when this engine would turn the vibration would just have this thing walking across the desk even on this uh, anti-static mat it would just walk across the desk and I put these just solid rubber sticky feet on here and now it's it's locked down rock solid so um, but anyways yeah this is that little Sterling engine and I hope you guys get a kick out of this thing as much as I have because that is just too freaking cool kind of cold so it's got to speed up I mean who wouldn't want one of these and this is like I said for the money the nicest looking one that I found um, definitely recommend this this is just such a cool little toy all right I will catch you guys later on thanks for watching subscribe catch you later